Well, near the I-75 corridor, officials determined what caused the damage in Rockcastle County Monday. The National Weather Service surveyed the damage on Hacker Lane in Broadhead today. WYMT's Phil Pendleton was there and tells us what they determined. It was an EF1 tornado. That's winds of about 90 miles an hour that did the damage here on Hacker Lane that flipped this car behind me, put a truck up on end, damaged at least seven homes and knocked a lot of trees down in this area. Now they got a careful look of the destruction here and how the homes and trees were impacted. The tornado touched down for a brief amount of time and while it damaged this area, it left other structures untouched. What we're thinking with the tornado, uh, tornado sometimes you more an upward lift. As far as downburst winds, you usually get more of a downward push. So you don't get things that usually are lifted up in the air. And based on the fact that the car was moved quite a distance um, and lifted up, um, it, it seems to fit a pattern more of a tornado. There were no injuries from this EF1 tornado. That can be somewhat remarkable as debris going through the air at 90 miles an hour can cause a lot of other damage and injury, even death to some people. In Rockcastle County, Phil Pendleton, now back to you. People who were impacted were waiting on their insurance adjusters before they were able to start cleaning up.